Anyway, okay, so yeah, hi. Uh, let's, let's start, I guess. Um, yep, yeah, I'm John Keevy, you already covered that. I am uh, a writer, mostly of theatre. Uh, about three years ago, I did a play called Dirty Words, which was full of sex jokes and penis things, which was why Free Lives um, got in touch and said, hey, can you write like a whole bunch of dick jokes for us? And uh, that's why I'm involved with um, gentle jousting. Yeah. Um, you can find out more about me at johnkeevy.com and Keevy Writes, where I have a, like an epically long serialized uh, sci-fi fantasy novel. Yeah, I'm just putting that out there. Whatever. Anyway, okay. So level up conflict. What do I want to talk about? I I want to talk about like the different levels of conflict in storytelling. I'm coming at, at this from a background not as a, a game designer. This is the first time I ever worked on the game. The learning curve was really steep um, and terrifying. Anyway, so levels of conflict how to deal with them, and what the hell they are. Okay, so basically the idea of what a story is, a character wants something, but there's an obstacle which they must take action to overcome. That's a central idea of conflict. It's keeping the character from what they want. It can be a passive, um, it can be a passive source of conflict, like uh, a barrier, um, something static. It can be a threatening one, like... Um, like deprivation, the removal of some key resource that forces them to want something, like they've run out of oxygen and they need to get that. Um, or it could be any kind of desire that they might possibly want, like this pigeon buddy who just wants to get like the other hot pigeon on the block. Anyway. Cool. So there are five levels of conflict. Um, and the first one is inner conflict. Inner conflict is our central source of like where all our problems can potentially come from. They can be emotional, um, our self-doubt, um, our uh, sadness, our all, all kinds of things. They can be in our body, um, our inability to do certain things, um, to achieve certain kinds of goals. They can be uh, imagined, they can be our nightmares. Um, this is like the central most level of conflict. Um, thinking of a, of a game where the central conflict of that game is inner, would be something like Quop, where the inability to control your own body is the source of conflict preventing you from getting what you want, which is to cross the finish line. Um, yeah. The second level, going up, expanding outwards from like your inner, inner self, is uh, interpersonal. These are the closest people to you, your friends and your family, and the, the conflicts that come from things like that. So this is like where soap opera sits. This is like where you have a conflict with your best friend, people who should be on the same side as you. Um, and we see this is definitely like the level of kind of soap opera. And it's, uh, it's, it's a level of conflict that we all resonate really strongly with. Um, and that's why a lot of things that seem epic and big often come down to conflicts between brothers or um, siblings, um, family, and best friends. You see that in superhero movies, where there are entire worlds involved, but actually it's Thor and Loki who grew up together and never really liked each other. Okay. Growing out, further out, outside of interpersonal, from your like, friends, your family, is society. Um, people who like, come into conflict with you because of the role that you have. Your uh, employers, your um, social institutions, social pressures, things like that. Um, yeah, police officers, things like that, uh, any kind of thing that where the person's role is what leads you into this kind of conflict. Okay, and then like moving further up and higher up is uh, environment. Your environment is a big source of conflict and the things that it can provide or cannot provide, um, that it can deprive you of, or it can just throw wolves at you. Wolves are also an environmental source of conflict because, yeah, what? Or swans. Or swans. Swans are also environmental sources, like they're a force of nature, that's terrifying, and that's how I lost my first testicle. Anyway, um, then we go up, one like the, the final fifth level, something that's bigger than uh, interpersonal, that's bigger than societal, environmental, is the metaphysical. This is where you have your struggles with God, or the creator, or the writer. So uh, a game example of something where the primary um, conflict would be metaphysical is a game like Stanley Parable. Um, where it's the very narrator who is, you know, um, 
challenge you on like the nature of choice and fate and free will. Um, genre will tell you where exactly your um, kind of where your level of conflict is most important to the story that you want to tell. An action movie generally has an individual versus a societal element. People who are thrown at each other because of their roles. You know, from Die Hard, who is a cop facing, uh, facing kidnappers and hostage takers, um, to uh, those disaster films like Volcano and Inferno, where they are facing the, the forces of nature, um, to biopics, uh, where you have um, historical figures facing like the forces of societal change and things like that. Interpersonal ones, soap opera, inner ones, you have uh, also often biopics like um, uh, My Left Foot or A Beautiful Mind, where the people's primary um, conflict is that level. But good stories um, hit all, hit as many levels as possible, possibly all, um, as they question like, the very nature of reality, choice, and uh, key concepts. Um, when writing even a game like genital jousting and approaching the story, we gotta find the levels of conflict at all the levels. John is a dick, and uh, he's got difficulty controlling things. He doesn't have hands, so asking him to make, um, make toast becomes quite a challenge. Uh, so that's a level, his body is a level, and then his own like, inner values that he must like, then like, face are also challenges. His interpersonal, his relationships with friends, and his trying to find love um, cause even more problems. Sorry, the character's name is John. I'm not just like being self-referential. I didn't want to call him John. Um, I love your story. Thanks, thanks, David. I'm beginning to regret this whole like heckler source of conflict thing. Uh, environmental, also your space. He's got to move around the world. Um, it prevents obstacles. It, you know, uh, even like just distance that characters have to transverse is an element of spatial conflict. Um, and metaphysical, we have a narrator who is kind of just a little bit, um, what's the word? Uh, adversarial, yes, thanks, thanks. Yeah, um, the, other, the opposite of uh, conflict, there, you're helping me out, and I appreciate that. Uh, that is pretty much all I want to say about that. Oh, shit, go back. Um, so when you are constructing a story, think about where is the conflict coming from? Is it the right conflict for your genre? Is it the right conflict for your mechanics? And where might it be missing? Sometimes uh, a good struggle or a good uh, crisis um, event for your climax. It might be because you have the wrong source of conflict as the major one to be resolved. So yeah, go, go looking for conflict everywhere. Go fight me, Satan. Okay, bye.